Guys, what's up? It's John, Game Strategy One. This video, I'll be reviewing the new AVS console. Came out recently by a company called Retro USB. Uh, they have a website, retrousb.com, of course. Uh, I've supported this, this company for a while. I've purchased a lot of homebrew games from them. I was recently at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. They had a table there. Uh, they were selling these. I decided to buy one. I was really curious about this console. I want to review it for you guys. So here it is. There are a ton of clone consoles out there. And basically what this is, this is an HD Nintendo Entertainment System. It came out just recently. It's price tagged at 180 US dollars. At least that's what they were selling it at the Expo for. Uh, and I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, wow, that's kind of expensive. Well, certainly it's not cheap. I do agree with you on that. It does not come with any controllers. So I, in my personal opinion, that's a letdown for me because if you're buying a console, you kind of need controllers. I think what they probably assume that if you're buying this, you already have a Nintendo system already. And that you can use that because it does have the adapter, same adapters that you would just plug in a normal NES controller into. But still, for, for console, you would expect to, to buy controllers. It's like getting a car without wheels. It's something that you need <laughs> for sure. But uh, nonetheless, it is a great console. I'm really impressed by it. I want to do an unboxing for you. I'm going to show you some, some gameplay video. I'll do a comparison to this and other HD NES clones in the market, including the Retro 5, the Retro Freak. Uh, of course, Nintendo Mini is coming out this holiday. I'm super excited about that. There's a company called Analog Interactive. They came out with an HD NES clone as well. Um, and that is priced at, I believe, around 450 US dollars. They do have one that's plated in 24 karat gold. I'm not joking. Uh, and that's $5,000. So you can go kind of range with the clones. You can get anywhere from, you know, Retron 1 for 20 bucks to 24 karat gold like the Ferrari of consoles, so to speak, for five grand. So this kind of obviously at 180, uh, it, it's more reasonably priced, although it is a hefty price tag. It does have a lot of cool features. It does play both NES games, it plays Famicom games as well, uh, both all in HD as well. It will also play Famicom Disk System games, which I think is a huge plus because both the Retron 5 and the Retro Freak, it, it's not compatible with either of the systems. So it expands your library even more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an unboxing, well, of course, we're we'll shooting gameplay. Please let me know what you guys think. Please like this video. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already. I appreciate that. Let's take a closer look. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here is the box. I'm going to, of course, open this up, show you what's inside, no doubt. But overall, the box is pretty simple. It's pretty simplistic, but it includes everything you need. So you have the picture of the, the console. It's available at retrousb.com. Uh, the logo AVS. Play your NES carts in Amazing HD. Kind of hard to see that black on red, uh, not very bold. But uh, here is the back. You notice the back is kind of flipped, so you have to kind of go like this. Um, so basically, what it's really cool, it's four port controller port, which is a nice feature, so you can play four players. Uh, but it doesn't come with any controllers. <laughs> uh, it does HDMI, USB. There's a Famicom expansion, uh, includes AV, the console, HD cables, USB cable, power supply gamepad and games sold separately. So it doesn't come with the games. 720p, so it's not 1080p, HDMI. Uh, it is NTSC and PAL outputs, so for those who live in Europe, other parts of the world, uh, you can play this. It does play both NES and Famicom slots. There's a slot for both those carts. So it really opens up your library of games, so you can play a lot of Famicom games. There's a lot of games that came out in Fam from Famicom in Japan that were not released in Japan or here in uh, North America and vice versa. Four score pro, I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm assuming that means you can play four players with the controller. Cheat code database, so there is a built-in game genie, which is awesome. Famicom expansion port, I'll definitely check that out. That's pretty sweet, so you can actually attach the Famicom disk system on top of this. Online scoreboard, again, not really sure what that means, but I'll take a look in that. Update through USB, so you can provide updates. So not quite sure how the US the actually updates, possibly through the USB connection, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, you have the seal of quality. I can tell you what guys now, I, I bought a lot of games in the past by Retro USB. These guys are super cool dudes. Their, their quality is top top notch, no doubt. So let's just open up, and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> not a paid endorser or anything like that, I'm not just saying that. But let's open this up. Um, okay, so this is what's included, of course. Uh, you know, you have HDMI cable, which is obviously important for this. You also have a USB uh, connection, so uh, you can actually plug this into your PC. So I'm assuming that's where you get uh, the updates. I'm, I'm assuming that's where you get this up, uh, the scoreboard updates. I don't think this thing necessarily has Wi-Fi capabilities. 
That'd be super cool, but I don't think that's the case in this, this situation. Uh, also, you have, oh, okay, so looks like that actually works. I might be wrong, because this actually, I know for sure this works with the power cable, so that's your power cable. Uh, I'm not sure if this does plug into the PC or not. Uh, possibly, we'll find out. You have a nice manual here, owner's guide, HDMI, power reset. Uh, it kind of shows you what's what's pretty easy. Input options, video options, cheat codes, scoreboard, uh, specs, and memo. They always include these memos in these uh, these manuals. I'm not sure why anyone like taking notes, whatever. I can tell you, it's actually a pretty good build quality. It kind of feels it does, definitely does feel like an NES. Same colors, gray pattern, controller ports. This is your reset button. This is your power button. And uh, yeah, look, definitely feels like an NES. On the back, you have Famicom expander right there. This is your USB port for your power. This is HDMI, so you got everything you need. This light goes on red when it's turned on, of course. This opens up, a nice little subtle AVS logo there. And, and the NES carts actually plug in like this. I'll show you that in a second. And you have Famicom carts plug in top like this. So I'm going to show you how the cartridges actually plug into. This flap opens up, and here's the cart. And it pushes in like that. A lot of, I know a lot of gripe, a lot of people have issues with these clone consoles, how well it grips the cards. A lot of people feel they grip too strong. Let's see how this actually grips. There actually is a pretty strong grip on this console. Uh, just so you're aware, it's not terrible, but there is a strong grip. Uh, let's check out the Famicom games. Actually plug in like so. They actually plug in to the top like this. And that's how it plays. So this doesn't really close down with the, the cart Famicom carts, but that's how they plug in. They don't plug in. And again, the grip's not as bad on the Famicom as it is with the, the NES uh, NT, NTSC carts. Another cool thing about the AVS is that it will play Famicom disc games, which I think is a big benefit. So for those who don't know, Famicom disc system looks like this. It only came out in Japan for the Famicom uh, system, of course. It attaches on top, plays just like this, which is cool. It does run off of batteries as well. You can plug in the wall, but with the fact that it runs off of battery separately. And the reason why this is actually designed like this with this huge gap here, check this out. This actually plugs in like this. And you can actually plug it like so, and bam, it will play. Now, you, of course, you can't put, close the lid, but it will play. So, of course, I will demo this and show you how it looks in HD playing the Famicom Disk Systems games, but I think it's pretty sweet. Definitely a plus for the ABS in my book. So when you turn on the system, you have a menu options. This is the first one, video menu. You can change the pixel aspect. You can widen the screen. You can shorten it down. Vert border, same thing. You can make it taller or shorter. Scan lines are cool too. Uh, you can make it look more retro like it's playing on a CRT TV. You can turn them off, which I prefer. Left slide show. Also extra sprites on. I'm not sure what those do. You do change the mappings, the input buttons for your, each controller. Uh, also, game built-in Game Genie. This is where you access the scoreboard. When you turn the Game Genie, it'll actually detect automatically what game you have plugged in. And it'll give you like the top six Game Genie codes, which is pretty sweet. I can tell you from the various games I've played, they do work. So that's a huge feature. There is no save feature that you get with the Retro 5 or the Retro Freak because it doesn't save the ROM onto the hard drive or anything like that. So there is no save feature. Uh, but this is really cool. The Game Genie feature is definitely a bonus.
I'm impressed by it. I, I think visually, it probably looks the best compared to the other clone consoles, I'll be honest with you. The sound is spot on. I like the fact that it doesn't dump the ROM onto the cartridges like the Retro 5 and the Retro Freak do. Uh, those are basically emulating the games. This is actually playing it on an FPG board, so it's actually more compatible with a lot more games. Uh, so that's a huge plus. So there's a lot of positive about this console. You know, the fact that it's pretty much you can play any game on in the library on this console. They're really compatible with the issues. Uh, aren't really an issue with this console, unlike other clone consoles. I like the built-in Game Genie feature. The scoreboard is a really cool feature too, the high scoreboard. I don't really mess around with that, to be honest with you, but uh, from my understanding, what you do is you just plug in USB into your computer, you download a program uh, through Nintendo Age, a scoreboard, and you can actually keep score uh, through other players. There is no online capability with the system, okay? That'd be sweet if someone came out with an NES console where you could play online. I would certainly buy that day one, no doubt. Uh, so there's a lot of positives. Uh, I think audio-wise, it sounds better than the other clone consoles, too. Uh, now, as far as the downside about this console goes, 180 certainly isn't cheap, for, especially for console only, no controllers. I think that's probably the biggest letdown. But if you already have a controller, NES controller, and you're looking to get an NES or maybe upgrade it, visually, it's, 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 it's a lot better, obviously, than your standard NES uh, system out there. Do I recommend the ABS? I absolutely do recommend the ABS. Will I be picking up the Nintendo Mini this holiday, despite getting the ABS? Of course, I'll be picking up the Nintendo Mini. I'll be getting the Famicom version as well in Japan. I'm just a fan of Nintendo, and I, I just want that system. I think it's sweet. And I will absolutely do a review over both consoles for you, so look forward to those videos coming soon. Thanks for watching this, guys. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys soon. Take care, and of course, game on. First off, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, please subscribe. That means a lot. And if you want to stay in contact, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a website, GameStreet1.com, and I have t-shirts available to help support the show as well. And those are available at ChopChopGoods.com.